And here's a look at your Monday afternoon from our Winston-Salem camera. This is fantastic. Nothing but clear blue sky, nice and warm, 77 degrees over in Winston. The view from the top, hardly a cloud to be found. Just a few clouds over here in the high country. That's about it. Our current number, 69 over there in Boone to around 74 Asheville. A little toasty right there in Charlotte, 82, 77 here at home. Some additional 80s across southeastern and North Carolina. For the remainder of your Monday, nothing to complain about other than it's a little warm for this time of the year. High temperatures should be in the low 80s. Moving ahead into our Tuesday morning, clear skies. You notice a difference here. It's going to start feeling like fall. It's been awfully strange lately more like late summer, but for tomorrow, fall will temperature wise be here. Low 50s for us during the afternoon on our Tuesday sunny skies. Highs only in the low 70s, so a big change is on the way. A, a cold front is currently making its way through the state now, so that's why it will be cooler for tomorrow. Jumping ahead into our Wednesday morning, maybe a light jacket will be needed with our low temperatures down into the upper 40s on your Wednesday morning. Like I said, folks, some fall light temperatures are on the way. But down here in the Gulf of Mexico, this monster Hurricane Milton, now a Category 5 hurricane with winds of 160 miles per hour. And we're not done. There's a chance it could get even stronger. Maybe later on today, it could hit winds of 175 miles per hour, getting very close to Mexico. Then after that, it will turn and unfortunately make its way toward Florida. It might make landfall at a category three, but still, I mean, regardless of the category, we're talking about some very heavy rainfall, powerful winds, incredible life threatening storm surge coming ashore across the western half of Florida. So hopefully the folks down there are on guard and paying attention to the evacuation orders. This is a very serious storm for Florida. Meanwhile, after Florida, it will just cruise into the Atlantic and then start to fall apart. Here at home, looking for a high roughly around 81 degrees, our last taste of late summer, perhaps. Into the overnight time period, down to around 52 degrees. Here's a look at your extended forecast. Cooler numbers, lows dropping into the 40s, and then by this upcoming weekend, we will start to warm up with lots of sun.